you know, tangential. He was an integral uh, part. It was, it was he uh, and his crew that developed uh, the foundation. A uh, very, very difficult uh, project because it was right in there, right there in the middle of the yeah. of the water. Uh, and uh, between it, 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 it succeeded between him and I think it was uh, the architect. Uh, what was a uh, Smith, if I recall yeah, correctly. Yeah, Francis Hopkins and Smith, but yes. it took them seven years, yeah, so right. it was not an easy thing no, to do. And no. and uh, um, you know a, a great uh, achievement that uh, you know. Uh, uh, I uh, took note of was that during the entire process, nobody uh, got hurt or lost their life. Well, wait, except, wait a minute. Except on <laughs> shore here, yeah. uh, when when a boiler uh, blew up. Uh, One of the boats. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know, right uh, right at the dock. Oh. So we can't attribute that to uh, to the the operation on site, uh, and I th and I think yeah. that was uh, that was a great uh, achievement. And if you're interested in that story, it's in our newsletter. Do you have oh our good. newsletter? No, I didn't get a call. Oh, here you go. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the newsletter, uh, there's an exhibit all about Race Rock with one of our other partners at the Ferguson Museum out on Fishers Island. Oh, nice. And he wrote a story about that because when the boiler exploded and everybody jumped off the ship, they brought the bodies into the custom house temporarily until yeah, they could get them to area. the... Yeah. Um, and I also want to mention uh, Ocean Beach Park. You know, everybody loves Ocean yes. Beach. Ocean Who does not love And talking of Night of the Moon Jellies, he also, uh, Mark Shasha also did a book about Ocean Beach, which is uh, under the clock tower, which a lot of people remember. That's where I met my husband. Oh, yeah? Really? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> perfect. Well, I'll give you one of those posters, too, because people love that. It's, um, it's, a, it's a great thing. And Mark Shasha, we should say he's a sponsor. He gave us many books and posters to sell to raise money oh, for the great. museum just a year ago. Mm -hmm. But Ocean Beach Park uh, is donating the space for us, for the party. Um, at the port and starboard, we're paying for the food, of course, because yeah. there's an expense. But the space they're giving to us to also support our work with the library. So it's again, it's another example of in-kind <coughs> services and donations, and mm -hmm. that that really is tremendous. Yeah. Um, the Metro North Railroad, which now has Saturday and Sunday service to New London, they thought we were the perfect item at the end of their uh, New Haven to New London run to feature. So on their website and uh, you know anything they're doing about their weekend service, they're featuring our Lighthouse Weekends. And we, we are getting calls from New Haven every single day. I don't, th I don't know if they know exactly where New London is, <laughs> but they're intrigued by the lighthouses and by the boat trips. So we're getting a lot of calls Good. about that and from Hartford, weirdly enough. Um, I also I have the New England Regional Council of Carpenters, of course, which thanks to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very great thing. Um, David Fallon, who owns a, who uh, does some metal refinishing through a retired Coast Guard uh, person who was helping us out, David Lurch, is now remaking the vent covers that were inside the lighthouse. Now, working in the lighthouse, it's always, um, it's a pretty simple building, right? It's a very simple building. But there are surprises, and the most recent surprise this week is these vent covers, which have been painted so many times that they can't be opened or closed. Oh. They took the paint off, and they're solid bronze. Oh. So. Oh. And, in the, and in the meantime, that's yeah. very important, because uh, a structure like that has its own internal climate. Yeah, it has, it, and one of the problems we've been having is the ventilation. The uh, Coast Guard had installed in the top of the lantern, I don't know if you remember, there's a fan, a fan. but it doesn't work because there are no plugs. You know, oh, it's not right. plugged into anything. <laughs> so we have to get that out of there and figure out what's what. Um, Mainly so ventilation is what we need, Yeah, as you're saying. Yeah. Um, another uh, partner with us is the Fishers Island Ferry, who's been giving us a reduced rate on the uh, ferry service to Fishers Island. And we've taken out uh, one group already to see the new Race Rock exhibition. Nice. But I mean, oh, and I, I didn't mention the Big House Bed and Breakfast or um, Martin Burkowski a week 
or two ago, two weekends ago, we had a piano recital, and it was a man, uh, not unlike you. We had we put something up on Facebook. Somebody wrote from wherever he was saying, "I guess I won't be giving." We 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 put something up about ledge light being up for adoption. It went to about two thousand people. It was one of the most well read posts we've ever done. And uh, this Martin Burkowski said, I guess I won't be giving a recital there with it out in the middle of the harbor. And I wrote to him, because I read everything. And he's an internationally <laughs> known pianist. Yeah, he uh, transcendent. He was fantastic. Um, I wrote to him and I said, well, but you could give a concert for the Lighthouse. And he did. He oh. came, and we used some of the money from Veolia Water to help pay the expenses to get him here. Um, a new bed and breakfast in town called the Big House, which is up on, is it Granite Street, up near the mm -hmm. Greek church where they have those great uh, food festivals twice a year? Yeah. Yeah. St. Sophia's. Near St. Yeah. Sophia's, donated uh, three nights the accommodations, for him. That's the accommodations right. for him. So everything we do, it seems pretty good to begin with, it only gets better. And, and what I've decided is the big isn't the lighthouse, it's the community. Being yeah. part of something big is being part of this huge community of people who really care about the lighthouse. And Definitely. that's fantastic. I tell you, didn't I tell you? People would come and they all love the lighthouse. They would come and they would do what they could to save it. And they would donate and they would help. If you want it, I'll come down with a paintbrush. No problem. Just tell me when. <laughs> well, we might take you up on that because we haven't gotten to the painters yet. So we'll we'll have to contact the painters union, or maybe it'll be you and me up there with our paintbrushes. That's fine too. We'll yeah, <laughs> it is because scaffolding we can do it. Yep. Why not? Yeah. People, we love the lighthouse. People will always stand for the lighthouse. Now, Susan, um, I had to bring my own cheat sheet to to keep oh. straight. Uh, what is going on um, at the uh, Custom House Museum and under the auspices of that. Can you give us an idea, um, day by day, practically? Well, you know, the crazy thing is, I have a cheat sheet too, I'm, but I'm going to start with, with something else, because we have eight weeks left of um, Lighthouse Saturdays, and every Saturday we have special events. All the money we're raising is going towards the Lighthouse, so it's kind of... Uh, if we ha well, the, the easiest way for you to participate is to buy a button. And actually, Lisa, I'm going to give you my button. See, oh. it's a day, you get everything today. My chemist skips everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Laura. But the buttons, they're not Beautiful. expensive. It's $10. But every button you buy gives that money to the lighthouse. But we were talking about the partnerships. We have a list, all these businesses in downtown New London, who then will give you a discount so suppose you want a tattoo. Suppose you did. You get 20% off at New London Inc. Oh, how great. You have to, um, you have to make an appointment and have a consultation. Sure. But you know that's a present back for you. That's really great. If you go to Pink, one of our other favorite stores downtown, you know, she has all these things with local landmarks on them. Mm -hmm. She'll give you 10% off an item. My particular favorite, which everyone's sick of hearing about, but maybe <laughs> I'm just trying to hint that uh, I love organic chocolate Ooh. and the fair trade store, Flavors of Life. If you buy $50 of something, of anything, you get $10 off. So your very first purchase, you make back the price of your pin. So we've gotten $10 for the lighthouse. You've gotten $10 off your purchase. You're even with just one purchase. But this is for the next eight Saturdays. You can do all of these uh, deals all over town. That's terrific. A number of, lo of our bars, Dixon's Tavern, Hannafin's, Hot Rods, Stone Fleet, and Exchange all have a special drink that they've earmarked for the lighthouse. And if you go in and you have that drink, um, they're going to put a little bit of money towards the lighthouse, and at the end of the summer, they're going to give that to the fund, too. Oh, how wonderful. Well, isn't it? That is. The whole downtown, <laughs> and we're not taking anything away from anyone. No. We're just, we, you contribute to us, and they contribute to you, but they aren't losing money. They're just not making the full amount they maybe would have. So I, I think that's a very nice uh, 
way, way to do fundraising. And Definitely. But I'll tell you, we have to sell a lot of uh, $10 pins to get to those uh, scaffolding. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, in terms of events, we have um, this weekend kind of a special one. You're saying how much you like ledge light. Love we all, you know, a lot of people, we love Harbor Light, and that will always be the New London Lighthouse always. for me. <laughs> but a lot of people, it's ledge light that they like. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> ledge... <laughs> that's, <laughs> ledge the, that's the interlude music. Yeah, that's a little, little interlude. <laughs> um, ledge light is the brick one in the middle of the harbor, and it's... Uh, I think when the Coast Guard comes in, that's the one when they see that light, that's their sort of point alpha. They know that they're home. Mm -hmm. For a lot of sailors, that's their lighthouse. This weekend, uh, at the Custom House, you can take a boat at 4 o'clock, uh, a Project Oceanology boat, and go out and visit Ledge Light, get out, tour around the lighthouse, see their new exhibits. They had exhibits last year, they have new exhibits this year. You kind mean of fantastic. In, in Ledge Light, at Within the museum in, there. Yeah, in the in the lighthouse itself. So they'll be able to That's visit the museum. A museum in there. Yeah, it That's is. That's awesome. Nice. And, and George was talking about the Gipsteins. Our good friends, the Gipsteins, are the head of the foundation that's been running that. Mm -hmm. Actually, they've been running it for over 20 years. And they, uh, since the Gipsteins have been involved, have done a lot of renovations inside. And they've made these information centers. It's oh, a, it's, it's an it's a nice exhibit. Museum. It's a terrific thing to mm. visit. Yeah. Um, we don't have the tickets. You have to call Project Oceanology. And one thing people don't know is any Thursday or Saturday, and maybe possibly also Tuesday. I'm not sure about that. You can visit Ledge Light, but you can do it from Groton over at Avery Point oh. Campus. Mm. But three times during the summer, they're bringing their boat to us on the Custom House Pier, and one is this Saturday at 4 o'clock. And while we're talking about um, uh, Todd Gipstein, uh, he is uh, uh, an, uh, an author in his own right. Yeah, he did and a great 4 o'clock on Saturday, I think yeah. he's going to do a reading. He did. Um, Lisa, you're talking about, uh, you're an author. Yes. <laughs> 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 and you, you're a self-published author. Yes, I am. Yeah, and so is Todd Gipstein, and he did one book and uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit, but I'm happy to finally come clean. I've just started reading it after three mm. years. And this is, this is based uh, on Race Rock. Yeah, Legacy of the Light based on Race Rock. Oh. How could I not read that? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's terrific. It's a, it's a mystery. It moves right along. It's a great summer read. Okay. And, he's, and it's set in the Custom House at Race Rock all over New London, Fisher's Island. Now he's written another one called Magician's Choice. It's brand new. And so he will have a book signing at our place at 1 o'clock. And that's free and open to the public. It's a good idea to call and be put on a list, although I have to say you'll be the first one on the list. Um, because people come uh, often come without, yeah. without calling. You know, I think we're kind of suffering at this point. We've had so many spectacular events over the last month that people can't believe we continue to soldier on here with our, but we do, every single week we have events. And this weekend, in addition to the boat trips, we have Todd Gipstein and the extra boat trip at four o'clock to see Ledge Light. So it's a pretty good weekend. That's an awesome weekend, yeah. Um, the big thing we want to promote, however, is the following week on Thursday, the gala, which we've already talked about. But if you do one thing, more than ten dollars maybe you'll buy a, a ticket to ocean beach and come for our gala it's 35 dollars not horrible but it is a sizable contribution i think and but it'll be nice you'll get something to eat you have a fun time definitely with all your whole community so that should be quite great um the following weekend we go on and on and on on august 3rd we have uh, a musician that we're very fond of, who you would like a lot, actually, John Mock. John Mock is from here. He's from the area. His father was in the Coast Guard. And he is a musician who lives in Nashville. He's a studio musician, so you know he's totally fantastic. <laughs> yeah, and he's, also, he's a multi-instrumentalist, mm -hmm. uh, and on top of that, he's a photographer. And what he does, literally, is cast a spell um, in terms of not only showing these, these unique photographs, largely of maritimes, 
but and also lighthouses. Yeah, and lighthouses, yeah. and also playing uh, original uh, pieces um, that are um, very much uh, in accord with what you're seeing. Oh. So it's, it's a worthwhile experience, and I think we're going to have him a couple of days beforehand at our yeah, show. Yeah, we're going to have him on, on the, the TV show, uh, yeah. which is why Chris is the following week. And uh, he wrote a piece last, last year, he did exactly what you did. He came in a little bit early, and he always wanted all his life to go up in New London Harbor Light. <laughs> so I brought him up, mm -hmm. and he wrote a piece about it, a piece oh. of music. And I'll tell you, it's gorgeous, I as you can you. imagine. Yes. And it, that's one of the things. You know, um, we are New London Maritime History, you know, the Maritime Society. But what we do inspires new things. We had Tom Callanan on last week. He's a Connecticut troubadour. You know, he's official troubadour. And, uh, if th and there is such a thing, and that's yep. him. And he wrote a song for us, which you heard right at the stamp ceremony. Yeah. Wasn't that great? That was. <laughs> yeah, people are, you know, it's, you have the history. You have something like the lighthouse. And people, maybe some people don't think about it, but it does capture people's imagination. Yeah, they're it's inspired by these thing. things. They've got the talent and they're inspired. Definitely. So we have two new pieces of music. Tom Callanan, if he can, he has a... He has two concerts booked earlier that day. He'll try to be at the oh, gala at the to good. perform. Yeah, so good. that would be a well, really nice great, thing yes. for people. Um, but again, you heard him. It's again, a great it's, piece. It's, yeah, it it's, the, it's the spirit of uh, uh, contributing, contributing in any way that you can. Yes, definitely. Uh, and uh, again, the contribution is not for us. The contribution is for yourself. And for future generations. Yes. Because, you know, this, this sort of thing, you know, I'm not... I'm a pretty big preservationist. There are some things are a step too far, but there's no question with me about, actually with me, there's probably no step too far <laughs> with preservation, uh, just to clarify that. But at the top of my list are uh, these lighthouses, and particularly New London well, Harbor Light. We've, we've taken it on as our brand, really. Yeah. Well That's our reason for... Uh, moving forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's it's a great one and and it's great to see the ripples that go out every every little thing you do and all the people who come in. Um, so, continuing on. I mentioned Veolia Water and the New London Water Authority being a sponsor. One of the great things they have helped to sponsor for the last four years, and one of my favorite things, and if you haven't seen it, you have to come, is the Nimble Arts Circus. Now you say circus, mm. but these are two sisters who are twins, and they were aerialists with the Cirque du Soleil, oh. who decided to form, to have a family and live in uh, Vermont and start their own school, circus school. Oh. So they train people from all over the world, and then they band together and put on just a few circus performances. So it always changes the composition of the circus. There are no animals. It's not an animal circus. It's all human, and it's very human scale. Funny things, you know, just sort of sleight of hand and tightrope walking, yeah. but then spectacular things with these aerialists up in the sky. And, and, this is, and this is all on the parade right here in New London. Oh, They've done it twice, well, at least twice so far. They've done it three times. Three times? I think it's the fourth time. Mm -hmm. And this year, Barbara Neff has moved it to Waterfront Park, okay. right behind the train station. Yeah. So that people will be going over the bridge, and I think they'll be going off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> going on down below. <laughs> it's it's going to be quite spectacular. And anyone who's ever wanted to be in a circus, uh, we're having a juggling workshop ahead of time. Oh, well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that, that, that's the only thing you have to pay for. The circus is free. The juggling workshop is $25. So call up and you work with the performers and you learn how and to do, do all sorts of things. the helmets? <laughs> 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 then, continuing on, that's August 10th. On August uh, 17th, we have a second trip out to Ledge Light. So if you can't go this weekend or if it happens to be booked, which is a very popular tour, you can go on the 17th. On the 20th, the following uh, week, but midweek on the Tuesday, we've done something that I have done, but not for two years. We've brought in the Sunbeam Fleet, which is out of Niantic. It's a big fishing boat. It takes about yeah. 26 people. 
And they worked for years with someone from Noank called Captain uh, Rathbun, Ben Rathbun, who did sure. research on all the lighthouses. You know, once again, labor of love. He, d he did this uh, booklet, uh, research on all the lighthouses, and he used to give the tours. He's a real fisherman, but this was his love. And so they're going to come in and give a tour for us. And so that's a little expensive. It's, uh, what is it, two and a half hours? It's two and a half hours. However, how many uh, lighthouses does it? Uh, oh, yeah. I think we'll, we'll get eight, to no? about eight, eight yeah. at least eight. Because oh, we wow. did that, when was it, last year or the year before? We did it two years ago, two years ago. but we left from um, Niantic. So you start in Niantic with Old Saybrook and you're way west. This time we're going to start from the Custom House Pier and we're going to head east. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping we go as far as Stonington and Latimer Point and all those mm -hmm. little yeah. lighthouses, which we don't think that much about because we kind of go vroom out to Long Island. <laughs> but um, there's a bunch over there yes. that would be really fun mm -hmm. to see. And I've never seen from a boat, so that we've would be good. That's a nice trip. We've got a little less than three minutes. A little less than three minutes. Lisa, is there anything you'd like to say before we go? Because we're really pleased to have you here, and I just want, I can't thank you enough. Your, your spontaneity and generosity and just enthusiasm have, are just actually what we live for at the museum. Oh. We just want to help. I look forward to working That's all with I want to your do folks. Too. I just want to help. That's all. <laughs> well, thank you. We'll see Definitely you Thursday. Welcome. Definitely. And your husband. Yes. And uh, Chris, too, will yes. invite him. And love uh, it. we're inviting the Eschenfelders to have somebody else's chowder for a change uh. <laughs> <laughs> from Captain Scott's. Yeah. And, um, and is there something more that you'd like to say? <laughs> Be part of something big. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, well, folks, there you have it. Um, and this is a work in progress if there ever was one. Um, this is not something that uh, we're going to resolve and complete within the next uh, year or five years. Uh, this is something that, that you can be part of. It's something that um, you can take pride in, both for yourself and for your children and grandchildren. You can point to this uh, because uh, this is going to stay. Um, and, uh, and we want you to be part of it. Um, and as I say at the end of uh, each of these uh, sessions, but more particularly today, join the adventure. Thank you very much, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> You're great.